Let's explore a little more about decimals and place value. What we have shown in this picture here is we've got five tenths, those are those red ones, and then the yellow ones are what we get if we cut the whole thing up into a hundred little pieces. So we've got three hundredths, and we've seen that we write that as 0, 0,53, 5 in the tenths place, 3 in the hundredths place. But we could also view that picture as representing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 3, 53 of these little hundredth pieces. So another way to write that would be 53 over 100. And so 53 over 100 is just 0, 0,53 or so. I want you to try these two for yourself. Um, pause the video and try it now, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so the first one should have been easy. 67 hundredths, that's what we've just had a look at. And so that will be written as 0, 0,67. And then four and three hundredths, well, four is the ones, and then you've got three hundredths. Now here you must put a zero in that place, in the tenths place, in order to keep the three correctly in the hundredths place. Let's consider the role of zero in our world. Obviously, if I've got four, it's very different number to 40. So if I put a zero on the end of a whole number, it changes the place value of the whole number. However, if I put zero on the other side, it, it is a bit of a strange thing to do, but the number doesn't change. It's still four because four is still in that ones position. And if I go zero, zero, four, it's still just plain old four. Similarly, zero, four, zero just means 40. Again, completely strange thing to do, but it doesn't change the place value. So what happens with decimals? If we have a look here, you'll see that we've got three tenths, and we know that we just write that as 0, 0,3. Now, if we cut it up into hundredths, we haven't changed the amount we've got in red there, but we've changed the way we represent it, and in this case, we can talk about it as 30 hundredths. So they're exactly the same number, and we know that we can write 30 hundredths as 0, 0,30. And so we see that 0, 0,3 and 0, 0,30 are the same number. They represent the same amount. So unlike whole numbers, with decimals, shoving some zeros on the end doesn't change things. I can go ahead and even put more on, 0, 0,3, 0, 0. It is still going to represent exactly this number. It's the same as 0, 0,3. And on the other hand, it's perfectly fine. It is strange again, but perfectly fine. If I put a 0 on this side, that doesn't change the place value either.